Hello, <laughs> good afternoon, morning, depending on what time of the day it is for you. Welcome to Joanne's Yoga Studio. Um, so for today's practice, we are going to be starting in Sukhasana. So as it's also known, cross-legged pose or easy pose. And we're just going to settle our palms on our knees. And as you can see, my friend Pink Flamingo is joining us in Sukhasana today. So we're just going to take a few seconds, a few breaths to settle into Sukhasana. Breathing in. And breathing out, just some nice natural breaths. Now in today's practice, we are going to be focusing in on our root chakra. So our Muladhara chakra. And our Muladhara chakra is situated at the base of our spine. And if you want to take just a few seconds right now, you can visualize your root chakra at the base of your spine. It is the color red. It's a ball of energy. You might notice it, it pulsating. You might notice it spinning. Just kind of put your focus on it and see what you notice. Now our root chakra is the foundation. Muladhara means foundation. And our root chakra is the foundation for all of our other chakras. We want a nice balanced, not overactive or underactive root chakra to allow free flowing prana energy up our spine and up the other chakras. Now, as we sit here in Sukhasana, I invite you to pay attention to which parts of your body are connecting with your mat. A lot of the practice today is going to be about stability and grounding. So let's just take a few seconds to just pay attention, bring some awareness to the parts of your body that are touching your mat, maybe your sits bones, your outer thighs and the tops of your feet. Now, as we practice today, dedicating our practice to our root chakra, I will be reciting or suggesting some affirmations. Now I selected these affirmations specifically to help us connect and balance our root chakra. So let's begin with our first affirmation. I am home. Continue when we are breathing. I am home. Now the affirmation I am home is really useful in remembering that whenever we are go inward, we are actually coming home. And especially when we come to our mats, our mats are our sacred spaces. We come to, to become consciously mindful of our breath, of our bodies, maybe also of our thoughts and emotions with curiosity and non-judgment. Okay, now on your next in-breath, I'm going to invite you to sweep your arms upwards. And then exhaling, come into prayer. Now as we start our practice, we're going to explore a mudra that is helpful in connecting to our root chakra. And unsurprisingly, it's called the Muladhara Mudra. So to do this mudra, you want to interlace your small finger, your little finger, and your ring fingers. 
you want to leave those middle fingers pointing upwards straight, leaning against one another. Interlace your index finger and your thumbs. So your index fingers and your thumb are creating a circle. Okay, middle finger straight, ring finger and little finger are interlaced. Now just place your hands in front of your heart. Breathing, noticing the ground beneath you, visualizing your Muladhara chakra. Maybe setting an intention for your practice today. Are you needing to take better care of yourself? Are you needing to find ways to relax, to feel more secure and safe in your environment? And as we relax with this mudra, Let's affirm we are present and rooted in the moment. Or we are rooted in the present moment. I am rooted in the present moment. And one last nice deep breath. I am rooted in the present moment. So you can bring your palms back to your knees. And now we're going to rise and move to the top of our mats into Tadasana. But as you do, I'm going to invite you to be very mindful and aware of which parts of your body connect and push into the earth as you rise up from your mat. So we will be pushing in order to rise and this push to rise dynamic is something that is always present in our practice. We're always pushing against the earth, gaining momentum, gaining prana and energy in order to rise. So just pay attention. Are your feet pushing, your hands, your knees? Be aware of how you're rising off your back. All right, so settling into our Tadasana today. Nice and strong. Now, in its visual representation, the root chakra has, of course, four lotus leaf, uh, petals, I always call them leaves, lotus petals and a square. Now the root chakra is the only chakra that actually has a square in its, uh, in, its, in its visual representation. And the reason for that is that the square uh, represents grounding, the four corners of the squares grounding us to the earth, connecting us to the earth. So today in your Tadasana, I invite you to Visualize a square underneath each foot and the top corners of those squares align with the outside of the balls of your feet and the bottom corners of those squares align with the edges of your heels. And feel your legs pushing into those corners, grounding into the earth. Imagine your legs as roots and those roots are pushing against the corners and your roots are grounding into the earth, connecting with the earth's energy. As you do so, your, your thighs are engaging, your quads are engaging, engaging your core, feeling that energy from the earth rise up towards that root chakra, visualizing the energy of your root chakra. Your spine is straight, your chin is parallel to the floor, and your crown, the crown of your head, is pushing towards the ceiling, and your palms are facing forward. Now, as you're feeling and starting to feel that prana energy rising from the earth, you might actually feel a bit of a tingling in your palms. 
let's just stand here for a moment, strong in mountain, affirming I am strong. I am strong. Now, on our next in-breath, we're going to sweep our arms over our heads, reaching towards the sky. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's take a full breath here. And our, in our next inhale, we are going to bend our knees, moving into chair. So, inhaling, moving strongly into chair. Now your knees are pointing in the same direction as your feet. Coming down as much as you can. Your tailbone is reaching towards the back of your mat, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, arms strong, chin again lifted. I tend to kind of bring it down when I'm in this pose. Come down as deep as you feel comfortable, feeling your edge here, feeling that energy building in your roots. Now chair pose also is, it activates our root chakra, but also our solar plexus and sacral chakra. So we're gonna come out of chair, taking a nice deep breath. Bringing our arms back up. And our, our, in our, on our next inhale, we're gonna move back into our chair. Maybe going a little deeper this time. Breathing in. Just stay here for a second. You're feeling that vibration, that energy in your legs, in your thighs, core is nice and strong. And here I attract abundant energy. As I stand here, connecting to the earth's energy, I attract abundant energy. All right, breathing in, sweeping our arms around, and breathing out. Let's come into prayer. Now let's just stay here in Tadasana for a second. We're going to make sure between each pose, we're really grounding into the earth. Now, a, there are a few essential oils that help us connect and uh, sort of balance our root chakra. And my personal favorite is patchouli. Patchouli has a very earthy aroma, and I often use it, I'll put it in my bath, dab some on my wrists or my temples if I'm feeling a little out of sorts. A little unbalanced. You can also buy it in incense form and burn it when you're practicing. Okay, so now we're going slowly going to lift our left leg, making sure we're grounding and balancing with our right. We're going to bring it back about three feet and as we do we're going to rotate towards the camera the front side of our mat. So coming up, raising that left knee, bringing it back and rotating towards the side of our mat. Now our feet are going to be pointing to the corners of our mat right now. Now we take a breath in arms overhead and then take a breath out, bringing your arms down, coming into star pose. Now feeling your feet again grounded to the earth, ground connected to your mat, pushing away from one another towards the edges of your mat, feeling strong here. Well, maybe rotating your palms upwards, opening up that chest, rotating your shoulders, 
keeping your shoulders rotated, bringing your palms back down. Now let's do that a few times, breathing in and breathing out. And breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. Okay, now you can either leave your arms here if you're feeling strong. And we are going to bend our knees, we're going into goddess pose. So we're bending our knees, following the direction of our feet, keeping our knees kind of aligned with our feet, with our ankles, pushing, rotating our hips outward. And now we're gonna breathe in. Bringing our arms overhead, breathe out, coming into cactus arms. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle, aligned with our shoulders, palms facing forward. Core is strong, tailbone moving down towards the mat. Breathing here. We're gonna do a little flow, so breathing in, going deeper with our knees and breathing out, coming up. <laughs> now we're gonna do this different, breathing in and breathing out, coming back into goddess. Again, breathing in, breathing out, coming back into goddess. Now, I find goddess hard on my legs, but I like goddess. I'm fond of goddess because I feel it's a powerful pose. Um, we can sometimes say that we feel the power of the goddess when we're in this pose. Bring your arm down, arms down if you need to. Rising up a little bit if you need to. Coming back into the pose when that feels right for you. Being in goddess reminds me that I have all the resources necessary within me to not only survive, but to thrive. So as we do that flow again, I invite you to affirm, I am resourceful. Breathing in, I am resourceful. Breathing in, I am resourceful. Okay, bring your arms down, bringing your feet hip width apart. Let's take some time now again in Tadasana. Feeling those four, those squares at the bottom of your feet. Now we're, we're at the point in our practice where we're going to be working on our peak pose. And our peak pose for today, and surprisingly, is tree pose. Uh, tree pose for me really is significant um, in terms of root chakra because it's a great symbol for the root chakra. We think of the trunk of the tree as our core, its roots that sort of go push into the earth in order to find and absorb and take the earth's nutrients. These are our legs. And then the tree's branches that extend out into the sky. And so we can think of it as connection between earth and sky, or maybe connection between the material and the spiritual world. So we're gonna start on our left side. So transferring your weight onto your left foot, your left leg. Feeling grounded, maybe visualize that 
square beneath your left foot. Really anchoring into those four corners, imagining you know, roots coming out of those corners and really grounding you and stabilizing you onto your mat and into the earth. And when you feel ready, you're gonna take your right foot and you have three options here. You can either place your right foot, leave it on the ground and just place it by your ankle. Or if you're feeling that you wanna go higher, you can place your right foot within your inner shin, the inner shin of your left foot. And if your edge feels a little like a little bit more than that, you can go up to the thigh, your left thigh, and feel free to use your hand to help that leg up. So I'm gonna stay here on my shin because I feel that's where my edge is today. And like, let's try to open up that right hip, moving that knee towards the, out, the, the, front, court, the front part of your mat. And I'm working on that. So I'm going to stay down, moving and opening my hip here. And when you're feeling nice and grounded, activate that core. You can raise your branches up to the sky. And even though you might be shaking a little bit like I am, <laughs> You know, keeping your balance might be challenging. No judgment. We are steady. I am steady. I am steady. Okay, coming down from our left-handed tree pose, back into Tadasana. Now we're gonna do that on our right side. Okay, so shift your weight to your right leg. Again, visualize that square under your foot, grounding into your mat. Breathing throughout the process. As you breathe out, bring that left foot Either leave it on the ground next to your ankle, onto your shin, inner shin, or onto your inner thigh, if that's what feels right for you today. Now keep your chin parallel to the floor. Maybe your gaze is just above the horizon. Bring that knee back and towards the wall beside you. Strong. And when you're feeling stable, reach your branches up to the sky. And like a tree, which even in the wind and in the storm, its trunk is strong and powerful its roots keeping it grounded. Like the tree, we are flexible and resilient. Flexible <laughs> and resilient. Breathing in, breathing out, come back into Tadasana. Taking a few breaths here, feeling strong, feeling that prana energy flowing through our roots, through our core, opening up that root chakra. Maybe just pay attention to that root chakra for a second. What are you noticing now? Is it different? Does it feel different? Does anything look different to you when you're visualizing it? Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, now we're going to come back into our initial pose, Sukhasana. So coming down to our mats, and let's do that mindfully again, paying attention. Now we're pushing into our mat, but this time we're coming down and connecting to our mat. 
Now we're coming into Sukhasana. This time we are going to put the opposite foot on top or in front of the opposite that we did in our first Sukhasana. Now it feels slightly different and I might say uncomfortable, different, we'll say different, no judgment, than it is on the right side. Encouraging ourselves to balance our body, to do things different than we usually do with our bodies, which we can sort of, which is a, a, an attitude we can take off the mat. Trying things and doing things differently out in the world than we usually do. So as we settle back into Sukhasana, breathing here, we are going to do pranayama. A pranayama that is good for cooling. Uh, cooling after a practice. It's a cooling pranayama and it's called Chitali Pranayama. And it's a good one for cooling if you want to sort of cool down after your practice. It's good also to do on a, on a hot day or if you're feeling rather agitated, warm, you can uh, use this uh, Chitali Pranayama to cool down. So how we do this Pranayama is we curl our tongue inward to form kind of a tube like this with our lips supporting the tongue but not pushing down on the tongue because you don't want to beat that tube to be too tight because otherwise you won't get to breathe. I've tried that. So I speak from experience. So forming a tube with your tongue and breathing the air in. And you will notice a sound when you do that. And you'll also notice that the air is nice and cool. Hence, it's a cooling pranayama. So if that's not in the cards for you today, you're not feeling it, you can also just make a O with your mouth doing the same thing and you'll notice the air is cooler doing it this way also so we're going to breathe in through that tube and then breathe out through the nose and let's uh, let's do that three times okay maybe holding and breathing in for a count of four and breathing out for a count of four so let's go Again, one, two, three, four, breathing out through the nose, one, two, three, four, and let's do that one more time. Okay. Now we're going to add to that our mudra that we did at the beginning of our practice. So breathing in, bringing your arms overhead, breathing out, coming into prayer. From here, coming into our muladhara mudra, placing our hands in front of our chest. Now I haven't mentioned the our stone yet, our gem or crystal, that can be helpful and that is connected or has some properties that are helpful to the root chakra. And that is, well, there's red jade, red jade. No, I might be saying that wrong. So I'll focus on the one I was going to talk about, which is tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is one of my favorite stones. It's really pretty, it's brown and yellow. It's very earthy and has it helps to promote stability and strength. And it's also known as the stone of courage. So if you're needing courage or stability, I know that I have a ring that has a tiger's eye in it. And I wear it when I'm wanting to feel particularly stable and courageous. 
So as we finish our practice today, we're going to add to this, to our mudra, our chitali breathing. So let's do a few rounds of chitali breathing. I'll let you do as many as you need. So let's breathe in. affirmation to end our practice today. I am protected. I am loved. I am protected. I am loved. I am protected. I am loved. Namaste.